In this computer lesson for Microsoft Office Word, we're going to take a look at creating a simple newsletter. Now by far the easiest way of creating a newsletter is to use one of the many templates available through office.com. And you can find a collection of these templates by going up to your file tab, clicking on there and from the menu, select new. From there you can find all sorts of templates for newsletters and anything else. But we're going to make a newsletter from scratch. The first thing we need is a title. OK, Maganga News. Now that title needs to stand out, so we're going to make that bigger. So we select the text up to our font size, and I'm going to make that a lot bigger. So we've got Maganga News. Now we can do all sorts of things to make this stand out even more. We can select the text, make that the title, as we have done in the past. We can change the styles. We can insert word art. Undo that. We can create some text effects. I'm going to change the font. And if we run our cursor down, we can see plenty of font styles to choose from. I'm going to use Bookman Old Style. So I'll click on there. And for the time being, our title will remain like this. On to the next line. Now we're going to add the date to our newsletter. and first thing I need to do is change the font to a more workable font down to 11 and then if we go to the insert tab along to the right and near the end we have date and time today's date is the 17th of March 2012 St Patrick's Day now as this is a newsletter all I want to show it is the March edition in 2012 so I'm going to click on March 12 and click OK. Now I don't want that on the left, I want that on the right, so back up to our Home tab and we're going to align that to the right. On to the next line and put our cursor back to the left. Now we want to add some columns. So up to Page Layout, and where there's a Columns button, click on the arrow at the bottom, and we can add one, two, three, left or right. We don't want to do this at this stage, because if I choose any of those, it will affect our title and date. So down to the More Columns, click on there, and we can have some column options up here. If I select Two, and where it says apply to, instead of the whole document, from the drop down menu, select this point forward. So from this point forward means it won't affect our title. And as you can see from our preview, our columns will fit in below. So click on OK. Now we want to add the text. And by the miracle of video, we have our text added. Insert a picture. So after the first paragraph, I'm going to insert a picture. So just start a new line, up to insert again, and picture. So I've clicked on picture, our pictures library appears, select the picture we want, and click insert. Our picture goes in, and I'm just going to reduce the size slightly. Picture's inserted, and then if we want to wrap our text around it, we can bring up our text tight against our picture. 
So we've got a picture. Now if we went to add a table, again, same on the other side, it can be anywhere you want. Up to insert, and I'm going to put a small table in there. I'm going to select a title for our table, so I'm going to merge merge the top row of our table. So if I right click and where it says merge cells, the two cells that are selected will merge together. I'm going to type in the title, which is breakfast. eggs cereal and toast so three people had eggs four people had cereal and six people had toast there's a table of the breakfast from this morning so that's the basic layout of our newsletter created so now we can go back and just change the look of it slightly. So up to our page layout, page color, and we can select all sorts of different backgrounds. And again, we can change the way that our title looks by going up to our text effects and if we look at the whole document through one page that's pretty much how we can create a newsletter I'm sure yours will look a lot better thanks very much